Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Let me set this down. Remember my house party? We like this hot. But yeah, check this out. Episode six for the Sneaker for Low show. Um, keep it moving right along. Told y'all Friday it was coming out. Today is Friday and I'm shooting it, so it probably won't come out to Saturday, but who cares, man? I appreciate y'all coming. Um, episode five was a success. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, shared it and liked it and commented and, you know, it, it, it felt good. That was my by far most viewed um, and watched video. And, um, you know, I appreciate y'all, man. I mean, I, I only got so many followers and stuff, so... I know a lot of the people who comment and I've never seen or heard of them before. So, you know, I appreciate y'all. So, um, today is the Yeezy episode. Um, before I had told y'all I was going to, before that episode five, the Yeezy episode was supposed to be five, but I ended up selling those Yeezy. So I had to go dig and get some more and, uh, just figure out some fits and some, some stuff that I, you know, that I wanted to do. So I got a, a decent little spread for y'all today. Um, today we're going to talk about the Yeezy 350s, which is the, uh, pretty much the bastard stepchild of Yeezys now. People be hating on them, but people still have a, you know, you can't miss them. They everywhere. But then I guess the, the cool people be acting like they too cool for them. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get, get into the chicken, first shoe. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, uh, the Clays. Uh, this is my personal favorite colorway of the Yeezy 350. Um, I love these, man, with the little orange on the back, all the soft colors, the, the salmon, the pinkish, uh, this little purplish, pinkish purple right here with the tan upper. Uh, very clean, very solid. Um, it's like a shoe you can't go wrong with, man, and um, I'm glad to have them. I've worn these one time, and uh, I wore them on my birthday. So uh, this was the birthday fit right here, um, milestone birthday. Uh, went to Benny Hanna's. Um, we went to uh, went to go see Fast Nine. I didn't. We didn't finish it, but we went to go see it. You know, but it was long and it was a decent movie, but it was long as hell and it was late. But anyway, so it was just a cool little fit for some popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't actually eat no popcorn because I ain't want to get no butter on my shirt. I'm gonna just keep it a buck with you. I ain't want to get no butter on my shirt. So I just sat there and enjoyed the movie. You know, had me a uh, Diet Coke lime sitting to the side of me. And I was leaning over, you know, taking a sip. Because I didn't want to get no Diet Coke lime on my shirt either. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a clean fit, man. You couldn't go wrong. I wore some, I wore a pink hat with it. And um, some blue jean shorts. Oh, that's another thing about Yeezys. I don't like Yeezys with jeans at all. No, no 350s, 700s, 500s. Maybe the boots. But I... I am not a fan of jeans with Yeezys at all. Jogging pants or shorts. I mean, it could be jean shorts, but jogging pants or shorts. And cut off jean shorts, not store-bought jean shorts. Stop buying shorts like that. Uh, unless they like some khakis or something. But Stop buying store-bought jean shorts. Cut your shorts. Buy some jeans. Cut them. Please do that. Do yourself that favor. Um, secondly, now this fit is a little different. This is one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? And, um... This was a highly sought after hoodie. Um, you know how I feel about hoodies and them hoodie hugs, like I told you. If you're meeting somebody for the first time or something and you're in a setting where you could pull off a hoodie, don't want a hoodie, man. It holds your cologne and you get the best hugs with hoodies. I guarantee you, you're gonna get the best hugs with hoodies. Uh, this right here is a crazy one. I haven't pulled this out yet. Like I said, I only wore these shoes once, but um, early autumn, these, these is coming out. Early fall, these is coming out. Uh, maybe some blue jean shorts, no hat, fresh cut, you know, maybe meeting somebody's kids for the first time or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Because it got that cream sickle uh, sherbet look, you know what I'm saying? So maybe go to Basket Robbins and, you know, get a couple scoops with this on or something. I don't know. I'm not going to get it because I don't want to get no scoops on my sweater, but um, for sure, man, this is this one's one of them ones, man. And this hoodie sold out kind of quick. I think they restocked it and then it sold out quick again. So I'm glad I jumped on that because sometimes I'll be waiting for stuff to go on sale. And um, it looked like that one was moving fast. So I just jumped on it. So um, this is the Yeezy 350 joints. 
uh, the horsey joint, the horsey hoodie, hoodie hugs, horsey hoodie, the birthday fit. Um, let's go ahead and get into the next shoe. All right, y'all. So the next shoe that we're going to get into is the uh, Yetu, Yakil. Um, people pronounce it a whole bunch of different ways. But the Yetu 350, that's the easiest way for me to say it. Um, these are very clean. These were featured in episode five. Um, one of the shoes that I had in St. Louis has been sitting there for months. So I was at, I'm was i happy to um, be able to get it home finally. Uh, they, these are clean. Um, they got the the greenish um, yarn. Uh, what is this called? Material? I don't know what it's. It's like a woven material, but like the greenish right there with the sky blue, with the like blood red, like the burgundy-ish dark red. Um, also got the same uh, sky blue going around the back. Um, the sole is all black, so I think that's a good touch to it. Uh, these are probably going to be the most versatile as far as keeping clean too. I mean, you could do some things in that. that. Those other ones, I ain't want to eat. I ain't want to eat no popcorn with that shirt on. I ain't want to drink no soda with that shirt, spill it on my shoes. You know what I'm saying? This, you can, you can do, you can, you might be able to play some kickball with these and they still be straight. You feel me? So, uh, these are a must have as well. I'm glad to have these finally, um, at the crib. Um, this hoodie right here, once again, hoodie hugs. Um, this is something that you could wear. This is clean, man. Look at that. I got some black sweatpants for them. Um, but you know, if the weather's right, I might do it with some black cutoff shorts. You know what I'm saying? At a theme park or something. Maybe uh, horror, horror Nights at uh, Universal Studios or Fright Fest of Six Flags. I mean, because this is something that you can wear and it's going to be durable. You ain't really got to worry about getting it dirty. You know, your hoodie. I can eat in this. I, I will eat popcorn with that on. You know what I'm saying? I will give me some nachos with this on. Them Six Flags nachos be busting. You know, you can, you can really take down some nachos with Six Flags. Pause. I don't know if I need to pause that, but I'm going to pause it. Um, but you could definitely uh, kick it with this one. You ain't really got to worry about it. You know, you give a lot of hugs. Girls can get their makeup on your chest. You ain't really got to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? No hat, clean cut, pearly whites. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you whiten in your teeth, uh, you know, leading up to this date. And you're just kicking it, man. Now, that's a, now that's a fresh one. Clean one. You know, you just look like you know what you're talking about. Look like you know what you're doing, man. So, um, that's the Yeso 350. I bought this hoodie with these shoes in mind. So, um, as soon as I seen that hoodie, I was like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. But I had to wait to get the shoes uh, in hand. So, glad to finally have them in hand. Uh, that is the Yeso 350. And um, let's do one more 350 before we get up out of here. So the next joint that we're going to get into, as you can, I mean, you can probably guess it by these colors behind me. These, hey, you got to have a lot of confidence to wear this fit behind me, but hey, man, who get, they just people, bro. Do what you want to do. So fuck them. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> so look, we're going to get into them semi-frozen boys. Um, super clean, man. The three that I showed you, the clays, the uh, yetchus or yekels or yet chills, or however you want to say it, and he's semi-frozen. These are my personal three favorite Yeezy 350s. Um, very clean, man. Very, 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 very clean. This is another one of them joints where I ain't eating no popcorn. I ain't messing with no nachos. I'm eating before I leave the house. And then I eat when I get home, when I take all this shit off, to be honest with you. Because this is clean. This is clean with the gum bottoms. Uh... That super duper light green, uh, lime green with the uh, bluish gray toe box. And then the red right there just giving it, you know, a little pop. It's crazy, man. Um, this fit right here was kind of like a no-brainer, really. Um, got the red and the blue in there. Um, very clean. As you can see, the shorts is behind me. Just a full-on fit. You know, you could probably just wear like a blue hat or a red hat or something like that. Uh, just to throw, you know, throw off the um, the greenness. <laughs> you know, throw off the uh, walking highlighter. But, hey, man, who cares, bro? Um, to be honest with you, I'm scared to wear this because I just don't want to get it dirty. I don't know where to wear this. You know, I mean, it would be ideal for like a picnic or a carnival. But, you know, what that all entails, eating some crazy, greasy, sloppy food. 
and that ain't gonna work so um maybe like a i don't know definitely summertime they're all people want to do in the summertime is eat so this is a museum science center um you know somewhere indoors the planetarium you know what i'm saying maybe a summertime night you you go do an escape house i mean unless you gotta be running around it but you know but i'm definitely where, wherever i'm wearing this i'm sitting my ass down somewhere and just looking good you know what i'm saying feeling good and looking good and smelling good you know what i'm saying but love it love these love this fit um you just really can't go wrong with it man like i said yeezys with shorts or jean shorts or jogging pants no jeans though no long pants but um that was the yeezys man so today we did the uh semi-frozens we did the yetzels and uh we started all off with the clays man so these three yeezy uh yeezy 350s are actually my favorite yeezy 350s that i um that i own really just on the market um the ones that i sold i sold the breads i sold the uh zebras and i sold the carbons those were the three that were supposed to be in the video but um these three are my favorite um I, I do got a few more pair of yeezys i'm not a huge 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 fan of yeezys but um when you get good colorways you know you got to do what you got to do so um thanks again once again that was episode six of the sneaker for low show appreciate y'all coming out um on youtube if you can like share subscribe that would be helpful um on igtv just keep doing what y'all doing um that's where most of my traffic is, so I appreciate that. And once again, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for stopping through. Let me snatch up this because I'm about to nurse, you know, I'm about to do what I got to do with this all day. It's a Friday. We kicking it. Life is good. We blessed. I hope y'all stay blessed. Stay out of trouble. Stay in the house. Wear your mask because spikes in that corona. And, uh, you know, go get your corona. Sit down, watch the game, watch some shows or something. Enjoy yourself. I love y'all, man. God is good. Love is love. Well, I, just, I did. This wasn't no gang sign <laughs> either. I don't want y'all. I don't know what this mean in y'all region. Well, we ain't. I'm 40. There ain't no gang signs, baby. Just want to let that be known.